Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my Back to Beauty No Buy Year. This year I am concentrating on using my makeup and not buying any. So, in keeping with my No Buy Year, today we're going to talk about the products that I do not want to use up this year because I cannot repurchase them. According to my no buy rules, I can only buy a replacement when everything in the given category has been depleted and these products today are products within categories that will not be depleted this year. So first and foremost, the product that inspired this video, I've been thinking and I've been obsessing on this because I do not want to use these up during the no buy year, but I know that the likelihood is very, very high. And that is my Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumpers. I have the shade Blush and I have the shade Luminoso, thanks to my girl Angela. But I tend to go through these pretty quickly. I use this one, I'm not using this one currently, but I use this to prep my lips. Once I have my face makeup done, I go ahead and put this on while I'm doing my eye makeup and it really and truly nourishes and therefore plumps my lips. This is not a stingy or burning type plumper. This really just has like a light mint or minty feeling to it, but it is extremely nourishing and hydrating to my lips, so I love it. And at which point these run out, I'm not going to be able to repurchase them because I do have other lip plumpers and or lip glosses. But at some point in my no buy year, I think I'm going to be without these and I am devastated. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and stick with lips and the next product that I am hoping not to use up this year is the Fenty Gloss Balm in the original shade Fenty Glow. I love this lip gloss. This is very much a my lips but better color or shade for me so throughout the day if I'm just wanting a gloss on my lips because whatever other lip product I was wearing has worn away I frequently reach for this one and so I really hope she lasts me all of 2019 because I really like her. And then I have two lip liners that I'm hoping not to use up this year. Some may think that lip liners go very slow. I actually find that I am definitely moving through these two products. And in terms of lip liners, they are my favorite. The first one you guys hear all the time when I'm doing a get ready with me and that is the Janta Blue lip liner in the shade Brown Sugar. This is kind of a brownie red nude shade and it just works with so many lip colors for me. It goes with nudes, it goes with those brownie reds that I tend to gravitate toward. Um, it just goes with so much. It even goes with certain pink nudes and I just love this. This was five bucks. I got it in my BoxyCharm box and this was a huge win for me and if it runs out I'm going to cry. <laughs> and then the other lip liner is my MAC lip liner in the shade Whirl. I've spoken on this in recent videos. This is definitely my lips but better shade. When I use this to line my lips, it just gives them the perfect amount of definition without really messing with the color of whatever lip product I will apply on top of this. I absolutely love this with either one of the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumpers or the Fenty or any other gloss. It gives definition to my lips, but still leaves my lips sort of fresh and uncolored for whatever the gloss might add. And then let's do my only face product. I did look through my collection and the one thing I'm certain that I don't want to be without during 2019 and I hope I can make it last the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Bake Powder in the shade 01 Highlight. This is just the mini and this is what it looks like. There's very little product in here. This, like I said in the title, this is a baked product. So 
and not only that it's very powdery there's quite a bit of kick up when I use it I do use this as a very very subtle highlighter my hand is dry as the desert so we'll see if it translates or not but hopefully you can see there's like a luminosity or a glow to my skin without it being like highlight like I have on today because it's Valentine's Day and I felt like having a highlight day. <laughs> so anyways, this is my favorite subtle highlight. This was in my Journey and Beauty Awards for 2018 because I absolutely love it. When I'm going for a more subtle makeup day or I just can't decide which highlighter to use, I reach for this one, and so I hope she lasts forever. <laughs> and last, I have two products for the eyes. The first is an eyeliner. I'm going to have to put the name on the screen for you uh, because the only thing I'm certain of is that this is from Rimmel London. This is a brown eyeliner, but what I like about it and what makes it special and why I reach for it all the time is that it is actually a metallic brown. I don't know if you'll be able to catch the metallic part, but this is my favorite eyeliner for the tight line. I can wear it on the waterline and it doesn't look too, like it doesn't make my eyes look too closed off. This is really soft upon application, but it does stay in the tight line for me all day. And if I run out of this, I'm going to be really sad because I have other dark eyeliners for the tight line. So I wouldn't be able to repurchase this one unless I use up all my other dark eyeliners. Um, so yeah, pray for her that she lasts all year. So the last product, I know this is kind of a short and sweet video, which is kind of rare for me. <laughs> so if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, this might be very refreshing <laughs> for you. But the last thing that I don't want to use up, but inevitably will use up in my no buy year is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara in the shade Burgundy. I love this. Again, this was a gift from my girl Angela. I've been on a no buy since November 1st, and during Black Friday I had mentioned that I really wished I had purchased a burgundy mascara before I started my no buy, and she picked one up for me and gave it to me. So hopefully you can see here, this is definitely burgundy. I do think it translates burgundy in person, but I think on camera or from a distance, this more looks like probably a brown mascara. It's not as dark as a black mascara. I think that's part of why I really enjoy it, but I don't know why I'm totally into burgundy eyeliner and burgundy mascara. I know I'm not going to run out of the burgundy eyeliner, but you can only keep mascaras for so long, and I've had this since November. Uh, she's still going strong, and I'm not going to stop using it until it stops performing. I love the formula on this. I actually feel like I can build up my lashes, whereas with most mascaras, I feel like the minute I try to put a second coat on, I have spider or clumped lashes, and this doesn't do that. This puts a nice coating on, and then I can go back in and do a second coat, and it looks even more beautiful. So I highly recommend this mascara, and I know I will be repurchasing it in the year 2020. <laughs> So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. No, I'm not going to stop using any of these products. In fact, I'm being very conscious of that and telling myself that it's about enjoying my makeup. It's not just about holding on to it so that it doesn't run out during the year that I can't repurchase these things. I'm going to use them and possibly use them up, and if that is the case, I will look forward to repurchasing them in the year 2020. And it's okay, I'll be fine. Um, I don't think that the no buy experience is about deprivation of anything, but I also know that for example, this brown eyeliner, it doesn't read that different on the tight line than a gray or a black or a burgundy eyeliner. 
so I will make it through my year even if I use these products up but I just wanted to tell you which products were so close to my heart that my fingers are crossed <laughs> that they don't run out and with that being said I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful no buy makeup days <laughs> and I will see you in my next video soon